Hello dear viewers, welcome to GeoNodes Daily Series where we do something cool in Geometry Nodes in around 10 minutes. And today we are going to make this IV from the cube that you are seeing there. So this is so, so awesome. I like IVs, so uh, that's why I did this. Uh, and you'll see it's both simple and uh, fun. A word uh, about uh, the demo here. The black spots that you are seeing that uh, that with that jarring uh, effect. This is uh, something went wrong with the materials for these uh, leaf instances. In the second part, uh, when the cube rotates, the instances are just fine, but the first part they kind of miss the material. So that's the problem. If they would have proper material, you wouldn't see that uh, effect. So. This is a very nice effect. Like I said, um, we are going to take a cube, we are going to turn it into IVs, and uh, we are going to use the same uh, method to distort the cube. So uh, you'll see, it's a lot of fun. So let's add that uh, nice uh, cube. I'm going to give it uh, some resolution, like 128, and I'm going to plug it here. <coughs> So, uh, how are we going to do the IVs? We are going to use a uh, noise texture. So, um, let's uh, do that. At, uh, talking about creating uh, IVs from something like this, you kind of need to have um, a curve basically. So let's do this uh, mesh to curve. I'm gonna... Uh, now let's plug this one directly for now. Uh, now we get this uh, nice grid of lines. So uh, I want to do something else with this one. I want to have this uh, evenly spread. So let's do a resample curve, plug this one here and uh, set this one to... Um, length and let me switch this one to a lower resolution because I kind of want uh, to have a responsive viewport so let's do like uh, something like this for now it can be increased later and now we are going to turn this back to a mesh so let's do curve to mesh Plug this one here and let's give it a profile. Let's say um, we are going to use a circle. Uh, for the final render, especially if you want to do some sort of UV map on this one, you will want uh, this profile to have a better resolution. But for the sake of viewport responsiveness, let's uh, keep this one on free. And let's put a material on this one. Set material. And I'm going to choose the green one. Now switch to material preview and we get this. Yeah, but it's not exactly looking like uh, uh, like Ivy yet. Because uh, this is what this noise is going to do for us. It's going to turn this one into an Ivy. So let's, uh, let's see how we can make this. We are going to use this noise uh, as a mask for uh, this nice setup here. So let's uh, add a uh, geometry, set position, plug it here, and let's distort the position by using this, uh, uh, this noise. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna plug this one here, and now we get this uh, effect. We are starting to get somewhere, sort of speak. Um, we are not going to stop here. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to this one. That's too much. Something like this should be okay. And I want to do a little bit of uh, distortion, something like this. And now we are going to use this noise to also um, Thin out the geometry. So how are we going to do? We are going to play with this uh, note here by be, uh, touching the mask. So we want to turn this noise 
into a um, mask. So let's take the factor from this one. We are going to switch this one to, let's say, equal. We are going to compare, compare it with zero and plug this one into the thing that is turning everything into a curve. So now if we play with this epsilon value, we start to get this growing effect. Kind of look like, like an ivy. And this method is nice because uh, it follows the shape you plug in here. So you can plug something else here and it will go, it's going to follow the shape um, here. So that's a, that's a kind of a bonus uh, for you. Uh, we can also do a lot of things like adding uh, random thickness to uh, to this and uh, yeah we can uh, let's do that let's add a uh, uh, curve set curve radius plug it here and uh, we are going to use uh, this factor as a radius. So let's plug this one here. And the effect is subtle, but noticeable here. Two more things I want to do in this tutorial. I want to uh, show you how to make the growth effect. So uh, we are going to do this by deleting the geometry. Uh, plug it here <laughs> and um, we are going to build a mask to plug it here into uh, this uh, noodle. So we are going to do a mask based on position because I want the ivy to grow from uh, um, from up to down. So we are going to take the z position and we are going to turn it into a mask by comparing floats. We are going to compare the z value with something and if it's greater than that value we want to see the IV. So now we have this nice control for the IV. And uh, by tying these two controls together in the uh, project that uh, you saw in the demo I exposed these parameters and I animated them. You can uh, decide uh, how thick the IV grows up so it's going to start to grow from down and gonna get more dense that's the the idea i also want to now add back the cube so let's uh, do a joint geometry and i'm do going to do this because i want to show you how you can uh, um, distort this cube based on the ivy you will see this problem that the noise it's not exactly following this cube and you can either move the cube or you can add uh, something to uh, um, fix this and uh, let's do this let's add a fixer for this if we do like minus 0.5 now the IV is gonna go back to uh, the original spot and as for the cube well um, Let's give it a material to have something to look at. So I'm going to plug this set material. Let's take the blue material. Doesn't really matter. And I want to do something here. Let's add a shade smooth. Plug it here. Nice. And we are going to use this noise to distort uh, the cube. So um, let's do that. Let's add a geometry. Uh, set position, plug this one here, plug this one into the offset, and now you get this craziness. So uh, we can fix that. We are going to take a vector, uh, vector uh, math, plug it here, switch this one, this one to scale, and now let's do like a lot less. Let's do a very small value. That's even too much. Something like this can give you a very nice effect. 
And of course, you can do something similar to here to compensate for the movement uh, gen that is generated by the noise. Uh, if you want to align this nicely. I left it like this because I like the fact that uh, some parts of the IV going, it's growing more on one side than on the other. So I thought it was cool, but you can use a set position to offset that any way you like it. So that will be uh, the basics of this, how I did the IV, everything else, it's just tweaking and materials. Make sure to uh, check the screenshots of this project that will be posted in the comment section to see exactly what I did uh, for the demo. Uh, the only thing I didn't cover is uh, the instances uh, part. You can see the geometry setup, you will see it in the comment section. And the leaves are just plain basic modeling. So thank you for watching and make sure to come back for another cool tutorial.